Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to talk about how you can be a better duo in Tarkov. And it does not matter, you can do these things regardless of how good you are or you know how much playtime you have. These are simple little tweaks that you can do to become a better duo. And sometimes it starts with playing with yourself. Now I say you can do these things while playing with yourself is because focus on what certain landmarks are and you don't need to be in a team with you can like while you're doing this you can do this in offline actually and it's very specific of what you need to do. You just need to think about every single detail of what you would call it out when you're trying to communicate with your teammates. It'll make you a better communicator. So we're looking at gas station here. A lot of people call this new gas station. And when you see someone, say you see someone by the blue car, you would say blue car by new gas station. Now we want to condense that a little bit. And assuming your friend knows you're at new gas station, you can just say blue car. Or orange tanker or red storage and if you have to be more specific think about what would you call it backside orange container or whatever or see i'm having trouble that's my point you need to think about what you would call things in a high tense situation and if you panic sometimes or stutter a little bit like i do a lot of the time when i'm playing with my friends and i like i don't know what to call it so i just say little, little, little gas station try to be specific so that when you get into those tense situations you actually just it's fluent to you so as you're walking through the map i wouldn't spend too much time on this every single day but maybe as like your warm-up maybe like 10 minutes or so run through a map and think of what you would call this we call this like second break in the fence train tracks or whatever you call it top of train rail think about what you would call things think about what you would want your teammates to call them and just communicate with them because you know it's a very easy to say hey he's at bus station Okay, that's a lot of space to be at, to look at. So if you can say bus station wall closest to the road or bus station close road, roadside bus station, running left to right, right to left, you know, those type of things, they make a difference. You can think about these things. Think about how you would play it, how you would want to have this information received and communicate that. It's one of these great communication skills you can work on while playing solo. It's just like calling out landmarks. Another thing going off of communication would be discord volume. Make sure you can hear your teammates clearly. However, I would think that the game volume is more important than your teammates volume. Sometimes being a good teammate is making sure that you can hear what's going on in the situation over what your teammates trying to communicate. Communication is key, but you know, if you never hear the footsteps because you prioritize your teammates for or voice, it might not be helpful. So just keep that in mind, prioritize the game a little bit more than your teammates' callouts, and that should help a lot. I think this is one of the most overlooked aspects of communication. So just try it out a few times, play around with it, see what works best for you, and see if you know it's quite helpful. One of those things going off of communication as well is what I think is probably the most important thing, and that is understanding the expectation while going to raid with your friend. Now, it's different for everybody. I'm not telling you what you need to do to play the game or how you want to enjoy the game. I'm just saying, know the expectation up front. Are you questing and then just trying to get out? Are you looting? Is this banter? Are you just screwing around? Are you looking for PvP? Is it 4 a.m. and you're just trying to chill out on some Tarkov? Like, what, what are your goals here? And sometimes it's best to communicate those throughout the raid because, you know, I was playing with friends early on this wipe and I was just trying to quest and get out. And we would be sitting in dorms for 20, 30 minutes looting every single room. And I'm like, I have my item. Can you just get out? And they're like, well, we want to loot because this is a wasted raid if like I don't get out with anything. And, you know, that comes down to an expectation. I wanted to quest. I wanted to get out as soon as possible. I'll loot later. If I want to make money, I'll go do money runs. When I'm questing, I want to quest. Communicate that with your team so that like your time is respected and you're respecting other players' times. You, you need to come up with a middle ground for everyone. Know some expectations. And if you're bantering and you're just having a good time, understand that like, you know, someone might die because you know, you're cracking jokes or whatever. Don't get mad at your friends because you're 
trying to have a good time and like joke around us. That was what the expectation was. We're trying to have fun and not trying to win every single gunfight because you know, you might lose some gunfights bantering and screwing around. You might have more fun that way. So just, you know, come up with some expectations, know what they are going in raid. And that's a very good way to be a better duo and a better teammate. Now, last but not least is probably knowing when to talk and when not to. You know, if you just died, it's a good time to talk. Give out as much information as you can and as little as possible and, you know, communicate that with your team so that they can also maybe possibly not die. Um, if you just died and you went and popped a bag of oatmeal or <laughs> popped a bag of oatmeal, if you just died and popped a bag of popcorn or something, got some snacks and then you come back, maybe it's not the best time to be like, did you kill him or did you get him? Or uh, did you hide my loot? Like, give your teammates some time. Maybe just even wait till after raid. They're still in raid. You're dead. You don't really get too much to say about what's going on anymore. Um, after you communicated with, like, your team on what happened, uh, you're basically not talking until you get a chance to, like, understand what the situation is. No, they're free. They tell you you can speak freely. And I think that's a very important tip. Because... A lot of times I know I do it too, my friends do it, is when I'm playing, we just, someone dies and then we just want to talk, banter, have fun, be like we're not in raid anymore, right? to have some good time. But you know, the other people are still in raid and they need to focus. Maybe just deafen if you really need to focus. That's a great way to be a better teammate on both sides of it. If your teammate's dead, you can deafen. They know you can concentrate and if you just died after you communicated, you can deafen so you don't actually end up being a distraction. That's sometimes like a double-edged sword because if you deafen and they ask like, well, do you have any other information for you? Uh, that's, uh, you know, maybe a no bueno, you missed out. However, like I don't think it's as important to communicate like what ammo you died to in all senses. And I do think we spend a lot of time like, did you get the dog tag of the person that killed you so everyone's dead and accounted for? Generally, you'll know if everyone's dead and accounted for um, because um, there will be no more gunfire. I think that's pretty obvious. I think a lot of time wasted on that. So looking for people that have all been dead and accounted for and then you just have a bunch of jumbled well i got this tag you got that tag yada yada you want to be short nice and don't put any on animation i think with all these tips that'll help you become a better duo and a better teammate on both sides so if you like the video please subscribe it's not a great deal and if you want other future tarkov content in the future you know let me know what you'd like to see if not well i don't know i still want you to have a great day